killed in Juarez in the past day, the same day a high-ranking Mexican cartel leader was shot and killed. News Channel 9 has team coverage on the violence starting right now. Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Moralia Ortega. And I'm Ben Zwan. Arturo Beltran Leva, the leader of one of Mexico's biggest and most sophisticated cartels, was killed during a shootout with Mexican naval forces in southern Mexico. Tonight, we're taking an in-depth look at Beltran Leva, who he was, and how his death affects the Mexican drug war. Arturo Beltran Leva, sometimes called the boss of bosses, shot dead yesterday in a luxury residential complex in the southern Mexican city of Cuernavaca. Leva was killed just five days after escaping another military operation that targeted him. The operation that claimed his life was led by Mexican naval security forces. At least six of Leva's bodyguards also died in that shootout, including one who killed himself rather than being taken alive. Mexican security forces arrested two women and a man during that shootout. As for the Beltran Leva organization, it has kept a relatively low profile throughout much of this year. The Sinaloa cartel has been at war with the BLO since 2008. In fact, that war accounted for the majority of Mexico's bloodshed in 2008. Even with Leva's death in the past 24 hours, the BLO is one of the most established narco-terror organizations in Mexico and has the most sophisticated intelligence capability of any of the cartels. For those of you not familiar specifically with Beltran Leva, we're giving you a crash course tonight on the major drug cartels in Mexico. There are seven major cartels battling for control of Mexico's drug trade. In no particular order, you've got La Familia Michoacan. They operate in the southern part of Mexico. They really control street distribution here in the U.S. And they deal mainly in the creation and the distribution of methamphetamines. They pretty much are operating here in these southern states. Then you have the Gulf Cartel. Just three or four years ago, they were the most powerful cartel, but this long war has left them a shell of what they once were. They operate mainly in East Texas, but in Mexico, they operate in those states along the Gulf of Mexico. Los Zetas, they were once the enforcement arm of the Gulf Cartel. Today, they are their own entity, and they are very powerful. They're currently battling with La Familia. They're trying to get control of this area of Mexico along the Pacific coast. They're also, of course, in control of the Laredo Corridor, specifically in control of New Laredo. They've also worked as consultants for the Juarez cartel in their drug war. Then you have Beltran Leva, who we just told you about. They have teamed up with Los Zetas recently. They're attempting to kind of squash La Familia in this area, again, along those Pacific states. A lot of these cartels right now fighting to get control of this area because they see these as drug routes to get them into the Pacific Ocean as a new way of getting drugs into the U.S. You have Ariano Felix or the Tijuana cartel. At one time, they appeared to take on the Sinaloa cartel, but today they're seen mainly as the Sinaloa proxy. They operate almost exclusively in the Tijuana area just south of San Diego. Then, of course, you have the Sinaloa cartel. It is the most powerful cartel in Mexico. It's run by Chapo Guzman, whose name no doubt you know, and has been at war with the Juarez cartel. We were kind of stingy with Sinaloa in this respect because really they are in control right now of the uh, Mexican border right underneath the U.S. all the way from California to El Paso. The problem is they're engaged in these wars all along these areas, and so exactly what area they control right now is kind of debatable. And then, of course, you have VCF, or Vicente Creo Fuentes Cartel. VCF is the Juarez Cartel. That's how you would know it. And its enforcement arm is known as La Linea. They, of course, have been locked in this war with Guzman Sinaloa Cartel for control of our sister city for two years now. And then, of course, on top of all of this, then you have the Mexican military who's been engaged in various fronts, multiple fronts at the same time, battling all of these cartels in trying to determine who is going to ultimately emerge as the power structure in Mexico. Today, Mexican President Felipe Calderón said that the death of Arturo Beltran Leyva is proof, he said, that Mexico is winning the war on drugs. Aralia has more.